Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'll be going over the Elementor Pro Table of Contents widget. So before we dive in, I just wanted to say that if you don't already have Elementor Pro, I highly recommend picking it up. And if you want to get it and support my channel, you can get it at WPWithTom.com slash Elementor. So with that out of the way, let's dive into the Table of Contents widget. So in my opinion, putting a table of contents widget on longer posts just makes a lot of sense from a user experience. I really just think that personally, Google is moving in a direction where they're going to be trying to satisfy user intent. And you can see this by how they're putting snippets at the top of Google search results now with questions and answers, getting people the information more quickly than they previously have. And I think that is something that you can solve or do with a table of contents widget. In the past, I've used Table of Contents widget plugins to do this exact thing, but with it being built into Elementor Pro, it alleviates that need to have a specific plugin dedicated to this. So let's dive into how to make some changes here. I'm going to add a Table of Contents widget right to this post that's on Waterfalls right here. And this is just a dummy text post that I just put together real quick before this tutorial. And let's go into adding one here at the top. So if we go back over to posts, I'm going to just click on edit for waterfalls, the same post, and then I'll click on edit with Elementor. So the first thing that I'm going to need to do here is find the widget over on the left side, it's table of contents, and I'm going to just go and add in the option. So right here, I'm going to add the structure, single structure, table of contents, and I'll just drag it in. And then I'm going to move this above the actual blog post as well. So let's just scroll up and drop it in up here at the top and now we have our table of contents right here at the top now by default this looks pretty good out of the box because it gives us a clear heading and it goes to each of the headers here in our article so if i were to click facts about waterfalls it would take us right to that section so let's just go click update and then i'll go and preview it and show you what i mean so if we go over here and i click facts about waterfalls it goes right down to that area and then if you go to world's most famous it goes to this heading as well so it works really well right out of the box as far as things go i'm going to go and just x out of that one and we're left with this right here so there's some basic changes that you can do in here if you want to you can get started by editing the title so it says table of contents we can change that right here if we want i'm just going to leave it as is for this case and then if you want to also you can go down to where it says additional options and we have some options in here so right here it talks about the word wrap and you can't see that in this right now because it's a full width table of contents but if we wanted to we can go right here and then add new column and if i were to go and drag this over you can see that the word wraps around to be with the number next to it so you can change that setting if i go right back in here right click edit table of contents and you can choose to have that on and if you toggle that on you can see that it no longer wraps around it shows all the text it just shows the start of the heading so if you wanted to have an image over here let's just say we added an image of the waterfall I'll just do that real quick and if you wanted to have it set up like this you would have your table of contents on the left and you could have the image on the right something like this and you can see the full text here or you can choose to display only part of it so that is what that would do right there by changing the word wrap on and off then you have this minimize box if you clicked on that it wouldn't allow you to minimize it so normally someone can click on this and it will minimize the table of contents if they don't want to see it so that is what that would do right here with this option toggled on or off you can also change the icons as well i'm not going to go through that right now i'm actually going to go and delete this image and make it full width and I'll delete that part of the section there. And from here, I just wanted to go over how to make it a sub item of one of these. So let's say you wanted to make facts about waterfalls a sub item of world's most famous waterfalls. What you could actually do is go within this text, edit text editor, and then you could go and find the heading. So right here is my favorite waterfalls. And then we want to go down and find world's most famous. And you can look at what the heading is. So if you were to click on this, it says heading two. So to make the next one, the facts about waterfalls, be a heading three, we just gotta find that right here. And then I'm gonna make this a heading three. And once you do that and you update it, 
it should then make it go into effect where if we go into the actual edit table of contents and we go over to hierarchical view right here and then you turn that on or off you can see that now it when you toggle it back on facts about waterfalls is now a sub item of world's most famous waterfalls so that is an option as well i'm just going to toggle that off and leave it as is for now and i'll just click update so another thing you might notice is right here it says let me help you overshoot your goals in the right way that has nothing to do with the article because if you look down here it's actually in the footer so what we can do is go and click edit footer right here and i'm going to go and click edit section within the footer and here I'll go over to where it says advanced and in advance, I'm going to go to CSS ID and I'm just going to type in footer in this case and just click update. Now, if we go back over to the actual table of contents, let's go and click in here edit post, right click edit table of contents. We can go over to where it says exclude right here. So in content table of contents, exclude, we're going to just go and put in footer right here. And you can see that it took away the fifth one. So if we were to just leave it as foot without the R there, you can see it's there. But once you put in footer with the R, you can see that it links up these two anchors by selector and it gets rid of the footer from the table of contents here. Again, you can just go and click update if you want to make that go into effect. And now I'm just going to go over some basic little styling. This is just like any other thing that you can style within WordPress. We can go over to style tab right here. And we can make the background color different if we want to make it gray like that we can we can choose a border color you can change the width radius all different things right here i do think it is a good idea to at least make it a slightly different color so it stands out to people when they come to the site so maybe if you want to make it like this color it's going to really stand out from the rest of the text on the site now if we went down to header we can change the text color there i'm just going to make that white you can also change the actual background color within here if you want it to be a little bit different as well. You can do all kinds of things like that. I'm going to go down to list and also make this one white as well for the text color. And I just think that really stands out better when you do that. If you want to, you can also go down and change the marker color as well. So that is how you can make some basic edits to this table of contents and how you can rearrange it by putting sub items if you want and really make it a better overall user experience. So I hope you found this video to be helpful on the Elementor Table of Contents Pro widget. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Elementor tutorials. Thanks for viewing and have a good one.